she goes, she prays, and she is, she is very bitter, she's very sad, and Ellie thinks she's drunk. Now, there's reasons why, there's reasons why it's brought she thought she was drunk. According to Rashi, which some people have questions on, that she was praying like this. So we, we dab, right? Mm -hmm. Rashi seems to say that people would, would dab in out loud before. Point to that, Rashi would say that she really initiated this approach. So we have questions on that because it seems that people, you know, used to also dive in quietly, but somehow, according to Rashi at least, this was something unique in the way she made it, the prayer. And the prayer was like this, this scream, but it's a scream in a way that, that only you hear it, which actually in a lot of ways is much deeper. I have to understand that. And this is what's brought in the Zohar in terms of how you should dive in. Because, you know, sometimes I, I do like, like if I'm, if I'm out in the field, I'll dive in loud, I'll scream, you know. But in a certain way, the sages make fun of that. They say, uh, they say, what, do you, what do you think God can't hear you? you got to scream. So sometimes you're allowed to do it to wake up your own intention. That's what the law is in Rosh Hashanah. Since everyone has a sitter, some people say you're allowed to dive in somewhat out loud. Because you won't mix the guy next, the person next to you, because they're also reading. And sometimes when you dive in out loud, it helps you wake up your kavan and your intention. So sometimes you need to do it for yourself. You don't need to do it for God. God hears no matter what. But when you're really tuned in, and you and you and, and, and it's kind of like, it's, 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 I'll tell you what it's like. It's sort of like when you want to really get people. Sometimes you like tune in, it's like a powerful scream. So the person's praying with all their heart, but there's no external manifestation, it's all internal. Everything internal is stronger. That's the Jewish rule. Everything that's internal is stronger.